Monday was Vascular Birthmark Awareness Day. It's a condition about one in 10 kids are born with. A seven-year-old girl in Rocky River is one of them. Now she is inspiring her peers by encouraging them to love themselves exactly as they are. Here's Lindsay Buckingham. Spend just a few minutes with seven-year-old Reagan Massey. Um, I like, like the animals. And it's easy to see her independent spirit. There's one right here and right here. As a first grader at Rocky Rivers Goldwood Primary School, the friendships she's made. This is my wall of cards. Began with kindness. Dear Reagan, I love your polka dots. You are special. Reagan's polka dots appear every time she undergoes pulse dye laser treatments for her vascular birthmarks. I don't hear anything funky in there, so that's good. <laughs> like the one she's receiving today at Cleveland Clinic Children's. See, you got mine. <laughs> it's something she's embraced since she was born. Everyone has something different about that. That's a really good point. Like, if they don't have birthmarks, maybe they have, like... Freckles. Right. Or glasses. Yes. We are very unequipped parents did not know what we were doing and when she was born she was covered head to toe in full birthmarks particularly her face while some kids with vascular birthmarks have other medical issues reagan was fine otherwise the only thing that mattered to her parents megan and mike massey was her happiness there's lots of questions that people have especially young kids are curious when they meet her and so being able to help people understand what birthmarks are and how to you know talk to a kid and make them feel special that has one um, it's really powerful to us polka dots that's pretty cool right after the masseys moved here from wisconsin reagan had a scheduled treatment she kept asking you know what are the kids gonna think they're gonna think i look like a freak she looks pretty banged up after the treatment um, she's bruised all over so we just gave her teacher a word of warning and left it there. But that's not where the school left it. Every kid at the school was invited to wear polka dots the day Reagan came back. A polka dot day, just for Reagan. So she showed up at school. She didn't know this was gonna happen. All the kids are in polka dots. Her teacher had decorated the door and it just like, completely changed the whole context for her. And we are so grateful and we'll never forget that the rest of our lives that that happened for her. It's the kind of gesture that makes the whole family want to give back by sharing Reagan's story and resources with other parents. One of the most valuable places for us to look was the Vascular Birthmark Foundation. They have just so much great information and community. For this family, the most inspiring part of their journey is Reagan herself. She's been the little spitfire she is. Anybody, if she rides in the car, you know, uh, she'll tell them everything's going on in her day, and that's exactly how we hope she will be forever. So she's our own champion, which is fantastic. So if someone says you're different, that's true. That's what makes you you. And um, if you have a birthmark, well, you should feel proud of yourself. Lindsay Buckingham, <laughs> 3 News. Oh my goodness, oh my how goodness. cute is she? <laughs> Wise beyond wow. her years, yeah. right? Reagan's family says she's also a dedicated Make-A-Wish volunteer, giving back to other kids overcoming challenges. Well, if you'd like to learn more about vascular birthmark resources, we have a link for you on our website, wkyc.com.